Nine, three, two, one, crescendo! And we are back in the upper bracket here at the Greater Pittsburgh Regional. Seeing some shots come up right away from both alliances. Red Alliance so far is ahead with a few more notes scored into their speaker. But by the end of the autonomous period, the Blue Alliance comes out on top and takes the lead. Remember, we are back in the upper bracket, so the winner of this match will move on in this upper bracket, while the losing alliance isn't eliminated this time, but it simply drops into the lower bracket to play more matches and try to fight their way to the finals matches. Pile up over here on the Blue Alliance wing, Team 144, Operation Orange. Looks to be playing some defense against the Blue Alliance, hanging out around the Blue Alliance stage zone. Their alliance partner, Team 2013, Cyber Gnomes, is over in the Red Alliance wing, making their way across the field with a note in tow. We'll have to see where they score that note. Team 41, 45, we just saw them score a note into the Red Alliance speaker, trying to catch up to the score of the Blue Alliance. They're not too far behind, only five points. And trying to get those five points right now is Team 340. GRR scores into the Red Alliance speaker, making up two of those points that they need to catch up to the, Red Al to the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance now behind by four points as the Blue Alliance continues to score with Team 2614 Mars scoring and then coming directly back to the Blue Alliance source zone. 45 seconds left here in match number seven of round two. 144, that's Operation Orange hanging out by the center line of the field, ready to play defense on any Blue Alliance robots that may try and pass through. Blue Alliance making an early climbing attempt. We've got Team 379 Robocats on stage and they have scored into the trap. 2614 Mars also on stage, also scoring into the trap for this Blue Alliance. Human player high notes are no good, but this Blue Alliance has tons of stage points. Now Red Alliance going for the stage. Looks like we're gonna have three parts in the Red Alliance stage zone at the end of round two. Red Alliance comes home with the win. So the winner is Alliance number eight, and they move on in the upper bracket, and we'll get a bit of a break until we see them again in round four, match 11. As we said, Alliance number four is not.